Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis. So recently, I was thinking about a few things. What is success exactly? Now that's been a more common question to people. What is success to you? But let's really look at it. If I stand here and I say, I grew up in a small town. I lived there my entire life. I've never traveled outside of that town. Um, I married the guy in the grocery store and I uh, graduated from the high school there and I never went on with life. I just stay home and do whatever and now I'm making videos. Is that success to you? The next, I've traveled throughout Asia, parts of Europe, Africa, and other southern hemispheric continents such as Australia, New Zealand, um, and South America. I have been in multiple countries. I speak more than five languages and I, I have a master's of education, bachelor's of theological studies, master's of education, and a PhD in um, experimental psychology. Now, which one do you feel is more successful? What person would you want to listen to? Does that mean I'm the same person both times? Do the experiences make a difference in who I am? So, you can judge which one is true. And those of you who know me know which one is true and which one's false. However, I'm just asking, what made that successful versus not successful? Are they both successful? Because honestly, I view both parties being successful. So if I meet someone, I feel, feel that it is a grand success. If you stayed in your small town your whole life, that's a huge success. I also feel that traveling the world can be a success but it's exhausting. Um, so both are successful in their own ways because both are their own personalities. Both are their own type. Both have their own experiences. No experience is less than another. Nobody is worthy of less than someone else. All are equal. Now let's talk about quantum hypnotics versus and and basically just how how can I enhance myself how can I enhance who I am how do I stop living in fear and stress how do I stop living in anxieties see I still go through a lot of anxiety because I don't know that I have hit the extreme sweet spot but according to other neurological a surveillance they have told me no we all go through our childhood traumas over and over again even if we know how to overcome them and it's something you have to do every single day you have to get up every morning and say good things are coming my way you have to reprogram yourself in order to live your future that you desire and stop living the past that you do not want to repeat First, you need to understand two particular things. Thought um, triggers your neurons. It triggers electrons. Thought triggers electrons. And vibration is triggered, triggering the, what, what is vibration? Emotion. Your emotion is triggering the vibration, the vibration of magnitude. So you can magnetize negative and you can magnetize positive. Your emotion is going to magnetize what you are emitting vibrationally because that's, that's what you're emitting. So let's say you're emitting doubt, anger, you're emitting shame. You know what I saw today, and I just hate seeing it. I saw something that says, Jesus, are you ready? What is this? A grand scheme of shame. That's what this is. Jesus, are you ready? 
hey, I'm ready for me. I'm not ready for an exterior who isn't going to be able to help me. And uh, now I'm getting a little bit angry, sorry for the emittance of, of the emotion. But it's not that I'm angry, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that in our world, the leaders know what they're doing or they wouldn't be leaders, trust me. They know exactly what they're doing, they know exactly how they're doing it and they are trying to trigger and manipulate the masses into doubt, fear, anxiety. They manipulate everyone into shame. Oh, you're not enough, shame. Okay, so stop being in shame. Stop being in fear. Emit love, the frequency of love. If you're having a hard time with it, use rose oil. Use, take a bath in roses. Get buy roses or go to the flower shop and ask them for the rose petals that they've plucked off if you can have them for free do a bath in roses make your own rose oil make rose water and uh, pour it on yourself um, drink rose tea all of this is going to increase the vibration of love okay You've got to increase the vibration of love in order to stop the shame. Do you feel sad, lost? Do you feel like you're in loss from, from previous events that took place in your life? A broken marriage, a broken home, a business that failed, you got fired, you often get fired. You do things that you know you shouldn't, but for some weird reason, you're just gonna do it anyways. If that's the kind of deal you're dealing with, it's okay. It really doesn't matter. Don't be shamed. Don't say, oh, my past and, and I have to correct this because you're allowing someone or something from your past to, to be in control of you control yourself. You're in control of yourself. Nobody is in control of you except for you. And uh, these insects. Okay. So you're completely in control of yourself. Now what do you do? I want you to just emit love. I want you to imagine a future outcome, but not massive in the future, just um, in a few hours from now. Imagine a, a future outcome and write it down. Write it down three times. Um, I find a penny on the ground. Something as simple as that. On my walk today, I find a penny on the ground. That's what you're going to imagine. Do it that simply and write it three times. Then I want you to lay down and I want you to think about that penny. And I want you to fall in love with that penny. I want you to love it so much that your heart is bursting with emotion of love for that penny that you're going to find on the ground. You don't love it because of its value in the currency exchange. You love it because of its value in your manifestation. You manifested that penny and that penny came to you. It was waiting for you. You are the owner of that penny. And that is what you love. You love that you made that penny happen. You manifested that penny. That penny came from nowhere. It materialized before your eyes in the 3D matrix that you are the co-creator of. Fall in love with your future. Fall in love with who you want to see. Be the change you want to see. I wish you all a beautiful day.